Hi everybody, thank you very much for coming, stopping by and checking out the channel. Uh, today we are going to be covering off Mimitar space in Dead Running Sites. Uh, this is a part of a six or five part series. I think it's a five part series. I need to just stick with a number. I'm going to pick one and go with it and we're just going to either be right or I'm going to owe you a video. Hopefully I don't owe you a video. Anyway, so today we're going to be covering off Mimitar space. This is going to cover the dead running um, video that I've done previously. If you're not familiar with that, there is a link for it just up here. So feel free to click that and that will give you all of the information you need to know. I will be using the VEDMAC or as I have crowned it, the dead Mac. Um, this is the, the, the latest iteration of my dead running ship and um, very effective, very effective. So hopefully that video was helpful and hopefully this one will be just as helpful. So if it does help you, feel free to hit the uh, the like button. And if you aren't already subscribed, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Do yourself a favor. You'll see when the videos come out. You'll see when I'm next live streaming. And uh, yeah, be good for you. If you have got any questions, feel free to pop them in the comments below and I will respond to you as soon as I can. But with that in mind, let's get into the video, shall we? One, two, three, go. Minmatar uh, Dead Sites. So the rats you'll be encountering here are angels. Uh, so fairly straightforward with these ones. We've got the three of 10, the four of 10, the lookout and the watch that we'll be running. Again, unfortunately, I haven't got footage of the vigil. Unfortunately, this is mainly just due to them being so heavily run and me not being able to find any. Also, at the time when I was trying to do this video, um, the winter event was on. So I, I unfortunately was struggling to find sites just in general. Um, most of them kept turning up as the winter sites, which was quite frustrating. But um, for anything on the vigil, if you have got any questions, by all means, feel free to pop them in the comments below or uh, use the Eve Uni that is linked in the description. This will give you all the information that you need. It is fairly straightforward with that one. So we're going to get into this first by kicking it off with the 3 of 10 and we'll go from there. So. Onto the 3 of 10. Now, the 3 of 10 for Angel Space is extremely straightforward. It, there, there's not a lot to this one. It's 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 five rooms. Um, it, yeah, it's basically five rooms to complete. And each room is essentially a purge. You, you, you go in, wipe everything out, gate unlocks, activate the gate, proceed on to the next one. And that's simply all you're going to see me doing. Um, with this, if you do start finding that you are taking too much damage or, or it is a bit too overwhelming, bookmark the site, warp out, give it maybe two minutes and go back in again. The, the groups will have re, uh, repositioned themselves back into their separate little groups. Um, and then all you need to do is you, you can basically pick them up, pick, pick them off in, 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 in like different pockets so that you're essentially mitigating a lot of the damage um but as you'll see uh the vedmac basically face tanks this all the way through so there are four rooms in total where you've essentially just got to purge everything and then when you get to the final room there is a battle cruiser if i remember correctly it's either a battle cruiser or a cruiser um that you're going to have to deal with and essentially uh, you just literally pop him and loop. So, yep, yeah, we'll we'll go through this and then we'll move on to the next room. So, yep, yeah, purge everything in this room and then on to the next one. So yeah, as you can see, everything in room one is dead. And quite simply, like I said, once it's all dead, activate the gate, jump into the next room. I do believe this next room that we're going into, everything starts separating out. So you'll you'll notice these pockets of, of, of different, different rats. So you can see here, we've got what, one, two, three different pockets, but I'm not that fussed by them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, activate, uh, activate them all by shooting one in each group. Um, the group that's nearest the gate will actually automatically aggro. So there's not much of a concern there just because they are in closest in proximity to you. So um, purge the, uh, so just attack the first two groups that to your left um, and the third group on its right, on your uh, immediate right will um, 
they'll, they'll, they'll essentially come to you anyway. And then, yeah, same same as the last room. Purge and, um, and, and, and complete and push on to the next room. Lots of satellite dishes in this room. I don't quite understand why. And they don't look like they're organised in any particular fashion. They're just lots of satellite dishes. CCP's design. Whatever. I'm good with it. It looks cool. So, nothing in them. I killed them all once just to see what was in them. There's absolutely nothing in them. Nothing at all worth worth actually messing around with. So yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll leave you with the, uh, the fast forwards. As you can see, these these die really really quickly so there's not there's not much by there's not much by way of a challenge in these it's it's literally just f1 lock f1 lock f1 lock <laughs> it's it's very straightforward with these ones um so yeah again nothing 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 particularly special to shoot in the next room um you're just gonna go in and purge everything uh, i believe there might be some sentries in this one if I remember correctly, there might be some sentries. I can't quite recall. Um, but yeah, uh, you'll see, again, four groups. So similar as last time, there's a one sentry gun in here. So four groups again, and you'll see, yeah, essentially we're just going to kill all of them, although it looks like all of these aggro at the same time. But they're fairly well spread out um, over about sort of 55 kilometers. So, yeah, 55 kilometers. Um, so you'll be fine mitigating a lot of the damage in here. Um, if you're using the Hecate, you, you want to be moving quite quickly with this. So I would suggest when you actually warp in, um, if you zoom out enough, you'll see what looks like a pyramid with a circle on the top of it. It's the beacon. Click it and set it as an orbit and then just wait for them to come to you. Simple as that. And then just purge them all. And then once they're dead, blast over to the, uh, to the gate and... Uh, you're home free and onto onto room four. So yeah, okay. Be right back. Okay, and now we're on to room four. <laughs> I'll give you a hint at what you've got to do in room four. If you just guessed, kill everything, you are almost right. Basically, kill everything except the turrets. Ignore the turrets. They're entirely pointless. They, they literally make no difference whatsoever. Um, just literally, just, just ignore them. Uh, so with this one, again... Uh, because there's so many different groups of them, I'm, I'm just going to pick off ones from each individual group and then shoot them. This this then just forces them to engage me, brings them in closer to me, and means that I've got less travelling around to do. Um, and that's literally the whole point behind this. The the less the less you have to do movement wise, the faster you can run them. Because uh, by pulling them in closer, you're essentially mean it essentially means that you're able to kill them quicker. By killing them quicker. Uh, sides done faster so fairly straightforward so yeah on this one we are literally just going to pop everything except for the turrets and uh, activate the game so on to the fast forward again
now we're on to the final room. This is honestly about as straightforward as it gets. You're essentially going to be looking for the domination Rigori? I want to say his name is? Uh, I might be completely messing that up, but essentially that's who you're looking for. Um, you find him and you kill him and then loot him and then that's it. That's that's literally this site done and dusted. Um, you can kill some stuff in there if you want. I was just shooting them for the sake of it, but there's no there's no actual reason to do that. Not, not, there's not enough damage in here to actually inflict any serious pain on the Vedmac. If you're using the Heke, I would prioritize those that are target painting you and then those that are stasis webbing you. I believe there are three NPCs in here. Forgive me, I don't remember the names of them, but I believe that there are three NPCs in here that will stasis web you. Other than that, you essentially just want to, yeah, go through and then grab your loot and then you're done it's it's honestly the the, the three of ten in 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 angel space in mimitar space is probably one of the easy ones to do because it's it's very straightforward just shoot everything it's it's genuinely that simple there are no there are no there are no specific triggers there are no structures that have got bonus stuff in them it's just simply what 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 you see kill everything that you see in the first four rooms fifth room kill the uh kill the domination uh npc and hopefully you get some good loot you can see obviously here i didn't get some great stuff but yeah that's it and now we're on to the four of ten so yeah onto the four of ten <laughs> so <laughs> as you can see from the four of ten that i've got here this is the uh, winter nexus one that i was referring to um so i unfortunately got uh i, I was struggling to find sites um, and that was mainly because of the Winter Nexus event that was currently going on at the time when I was doing all this recording. Um, but, yeah. It, I, I mean, I was still able to find sites, which w wasn't too much of a problem. It's just that, yeah, because, because a lot of the sites have been replaced with the Winter events, it was problematic, should we say, uh, <laughs> to actually get them. And, uh, yeah, this one, really, really, really straightforward. First room, when you go in, essentially you're just clearing everything. Just literally wipe out everything. Uh, approach the gate um, and then, yeah, clear everything. Uh, it, it couldn't, like, Mimitar ones in general are fairly straightforward. Um, there are a couple of tricks when it comes to the watch, uh, but for, for, for the 3 of 10, the 4 of 10 and the lookout, it's it's fairly straightforward. Same as the vigil. Again, it's, it's fairly straightforward. Um, so yeah, I will leave you with the fast forwards and we'll see you when everything's dead. Okay, let's go. There we go. Oh, that was agonizing. Okay, right. So, <laughs> now that the purge has been completed, we're now gonna move on to the next room of the four of 10. This one, fairly straightforward. What's really funny is for you guys, this will be a matter of seconds. I had to sit through and watch that. That was agonizing. Slightly awkward. Okay, so anyway, room two of the four of 10. Really, really simple, this one. All you gotta do when you get into there, Target the excavator, domination excavator, I believe he's called. That's that that's your priority. So when you get in there, lock him up and target him. Now, if you are taking too much damage, if you are getting hit too much, um, a very easy way to mitigate this. If you're in the Ved Mac, because your skills maybe aren't aren't quite what they need to be, you'll see, obviously, with me, I'm I'm able to run this without any issues. Um but 
If you are taking too much damage, burn vertical. Go straight up and do one cycle of your afterburner. This will give you enough range to get out of their range of their auto cannons, because that's what they're using. They're all using auto cannons. So by moving up, you're essentially moving out of the range of their auto cannons and essentially mitigating all the damage that they're doing. If the damage starts going back up again and you can't and you, and you can't handle it again, just one cycle and burn yourself away. You don't need to sit there and face tank it like I'm doing here. I know it's a bad example, but um, once you've got it set up, there's there's no issues at all. You, you once you've got the skills in the right place, it's absolutely fine. You can you can run this thing and face tank it. Um, but just in case it does end up being too much for you, really simple. One cycle of your micro warp drive and you're off and you're good to go, okay? But that is it, that is the four of 10, um, done and dusted, and uh, I guess we'll jump on to the next one. So, here we go. Okay, so now we're on to uh, the lookout, angel lookout. This one, really, really simple. Again, like I said, the angel ones particularly are fairly straightforward. There's only some shenanigans that go on in angel watch that, that that are any good but other than that it's these ones are fairly straightforward so this one when you go into the room kill everything purge everything the only thing you don't have to destroy is the sentry gun that's here other than that everything in this first room can be destroyed make your way over to the gate and you're good to go so i will let me from the past take it away Okay, so while we kill these last two NPCs here, um, essentially we're going to be prepping to go into the next room. Now, there are a couple of things that you need to bear in mind with this next room, just so you're conserving as much ammo as you can. Um, and essentially what that is, is when you land into the second room, you're going to notice what looks like, the only way I can think of describing it, is like a giant array. Um, this array, literally, it, it looks like four big solar panel thingy doodars and it is on the right hand side now in amongst all of those npcs are destroyers and they're the only things you want to be destroying there are four of them and they are the only things you want to be destroying they by killing them four npcs you have a chance of triggering the um the faction spawn so ignore any of the other destroyers it's only the four destroyers next to this array that you can see here on the screen right now. Ignore everything else, it doesn't matter. It's only those four. Once they're dead, job done. Then, if the faction spawn doesn't happen, the next possible escalation chance that you've got is the bunker. It's a control center, it's called the Angel Control Center. That's gonna be your next objective. So, once the destroyers have been killed, if a faction rat turns up, great, kill it. If it doesn't, then just go ahead and move down to the um, to the control center. And then that's that's literally it for this one. If you get the faction spawn, fantastic. Make sure you loot him. And then make sure, even though you've looted him and you've got the faction spawn, um, don't forget to shoot the bunker. Don't forget to shoot the bunker. Because the site will despawn and you'll still potentially lose the chance of getting an escalation. So here, what actually happened was, I may have lost track of what I was doing. I think someone may have been talking to me on Discord at the time, which was <clears throat> slightly awkward. Um, but yeah, so I, I completely lost track of what I was doing and then realized what I was doing. I was like, oh, wait, hang on a second. Um, but I don't think I realized until after the very, until he died. I think as soon as I killed him, I was like, wait, why have I done that? And then realized I didn't need to do it. So yeah. Uh, target the first four destroyers that you see there. If nothing drops, just go for the control center. And again, if nothing drops, nothing drops. It's a lookout. They're not massively difficult to run. They're, they're, they're like two minutes, maybe three at most. Um, in the VEDMAC, it may take you a little longer to run them. It, it, we're talking seconds, though. It's not a massive... 
it's not a massive push. So that's it. That's the lookout. So on to the finale, which is the watch. Angel watch. Now, there is a trick to this one, um, and it's, it's fairly simple to do. All you're going to be doing when you land into this site, as with the previous ones in the Galente version, you want to be approaching the gate. Now, I actually end up having to fight to contest this one, um, but I end up winning it, so it's fine. Um, but essentially, when you get in there, first thing you want to be doing, as soon as you land, approach the gate. Approach the gate as soon as you get in there. This is going to force two NPCs to spawn. They're called communication officers. There are two of them. Don't waste your ammo, shoot them once. That's all it needs. Doesn't matter whether you're close, far, it doesn't matter. If you're in the Vedmac, you're gonna do damage. If you're in the Hecate, you're not. If you're in the Vexa, you're not gonna do any damage, but it's just shooting them. It doesn't have to damage them. Once you've shot both of those, you'll then get the next lot of communication guys that turn up, which are communication transmitters. That may be wrong. They're communication somethings, not officers. Communication, I'm almost certain it's transmitters. So there will be two communication transmitters that turn up. They're now your next priority. Shoot them. Shoot them. Don't kill them. Don't waste your ammo. Shoot them shoot them this will form uh, this will force the, the 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 final fifth npc to spawn this is the one that you want to kill he is the militant overseer kill him he's the guy that controls the gate once he dies gate opens simple as that it's genuinely it is as simple as that so you'll see here i'm actually popping these specifically because i think at the time they were sensor dampening me um, or they, they were doing something. There was some reason that I ended up targeting them. But yeah, essentially, shoot the communication guys. Once you shot the communication guys, only shoot them. Don't, 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 don't waste your ammo because you will end up just burning ammo. The whole point of this is to be isk efficient. So, shoot them. Don't kill them. Once they once they've taken damage and this last guy has spawned. Um, I can't remember what his name is. It's Militant Commander. It's something Militant Commander. Um, we're in Angel Space. It's Gistum. Uh, Gistum, uh, Gistum Militant Commander. Once the Gistum Militant Commander spawns, that's the guy you want to kill. And you actually want to kill him. Pop him, gate opens. Simple as that. Once the gate's open, go ahead, burn through the gate. You don't have to worry about anything else in the room at all. Ignore all of it. There's nothing here that's worth actually killing. Total bounties i think maybe total a million you'll spend more than that in ammo um and the loot is hardly worth it i think in total for the entire site you'll be lucky if you make maybe a mil in in loot so it's not worth looting don't get me wrong if ccp decided to then change the loot tables and make it actually more profitable to run these to be more invested in them then absolutely that but as far as i know there are no scheduled changes happening to these so for now that needs to be your priority kill those and then as soon as the militant commander's dead pop the gate you're good to go and uh, i will see you in room two Looks like we made it to room two. Okay. Room two. This one. Really, really simple. Again, you want to be heading to the top right-hand corner. So where this station array is, you'll see it. It's got three pods and then one in the center. And then this kind of force field thing going around the side of it. Looks really cool in here. Um, but you want to be heading to the top right between that and what looks like a small, medium, large-ish, hollow asteroid to the, to the right-hand side. Aim vertical, off in that direction. Once you shoot the station, it will trigger a spawn, which will be the Militant Overseer. 
I could have just told you that from the screen. It's in front of me. Um, so yeah, you want to kill the militant overseer. He's going to be a really long way away, but you want to kill him. Now, I'm actually, because you can see I've got my D-scan open, I actually end up picking up that someone else is already in the site behind me. You can see it going off. Pro tip, like basically D-scan every couple of seconds. Or, or just always be de-scanning. It's it's a good good way of kind of making sure you don't die. Um, but yeah, you'll see I kill him and I end up get end up killing him um, and and basically finishing the site before the guy even gets to the end of it. He ended up comboing me to <clears throat> call me all sorts of names because apparently I'd left a load of stuff behind. And I was like, well, I mean, feel free to kill it. I'm not, I'm not going to. I'm off to the next one. Bye. And off I went. Um, but yeah, we're, we're just going to kill this guy. And then we're going to grab the uh, the next bit, which is the faction spawn, who is the nomad. Domination nomad will spawn. And there you go. That's it done. If you get the escalation from it, you get the escalation from it. Fantastic. Uh, when the militant dies, there's also a chance that, like I said, he'll spawn the nomad. And that will give you the uh, the next bit. But yeah, there you go. That is running sites in all of Mimitar space. So, hopefully that has been helpful. Hopefully that's provided you with a with a couple of hints and tips. But there you go. That is that is Mimitar space in a nutshell. Enjoy. And there you have it. That is dead running. Uh, hopefully you've picked up some tips and tricks from that that are going to help you along the way. If you have got any questions, feel free to pop them in the comments below, and I will endeavour to answer them as soon as I can. Uh, following this, there'll be some videos, suggestions for you. Feel free to check those out. And other than that, if you're not already subscribed, hitting the subscribe button would be fantastic. Until then, have fun. Go forth and make money. And I will see you all on the next one. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.